Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. As you can tell from the title, today we're going to be playing around with some makeup. We're going to try some new makeup and just some new purchases, I guess. They're not necessarily new releases, but just new makeup that I bought and I haven't had the chance to try. Actually, also some of these are new buys, but I've already tried them and I wanted to share it with you guys. So anyways, it's going to be a fun video and um, yeah, I guess I'll jump straight into it. I can't wait to create today's look. It's going to be a little bit different, a bit more on the cool tone side. I think from all the products I've gathered today. You guys know I always start with my brows and the first product I'm going to use is the Revlon Colorstay Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Black. This was a recent discovery and I feel like Revlon is so like underrated, especially those uh, viral glass shine lipsticks. Super fine and creamy and it just does the job. And it's drugstore so who doesn't love that? So one brow done. Just tried this yesterday and this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I'm gonna put this on whilst I do my makeup. It is the Gummy Bear one and it smells lush i feel like i want to eat it it literally smells like grape soda once you open the can this is definitely worth every bit of hype it gets because i can't stop using it i'm a bit sick as well i also had the laneige water bank blue hyaluronic gel moisturizer i haven't tried this yet i don't know if this is going to be hydrating enough for me but let's try it like very watery but it's not like slipping and sli sliding it feels like it's being like absorbed in I feel like I need a little bit more moisture there. So for foundation, I recently received the new and improved Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation and I have two shades here. It's kind of the same, but I think the only difference from the original formula is that this one's more long wearing. I think this one's 35 hour, the other one was a little less. And this has more like skincare in the foundation whilst the other one didn't. So it has hyaluronic acid and 2% niacinamide. So yeah, it's like a skincare in makeup kind of foundation, but it still gives full coverage. They have 34 shades, which I'm so happy to see at the drugstore. And it's uh, $10.99, you can get at Superdrug. This is what the foundation looks like. And and this one's in the shade Warm Olive and it just sounds about right for me. Let's swatch it. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. If that's not my shade in a bottle, I don't know what is. Let's just buff this out. I'm just gonna continue blending this because it's looking a little bit light, but I think it might oxidize. So let's just give it a few seconds. That's a problem sometimes when you get the foundation shade exactly right. It sometimes goes ashy around my mouth because I have pigmentation there. But I'd rather like it match my skin perfectly and then just apply a bit of uh, color corrector rather than having it a bit darker. So yeah, I've just warmed that area of my mouth a little bit with some corrector and that seems to have fixed it. Yeah, this is literally my skin color, like my winter shade. Yeah, it looks really nice. It definitely has quite a thick consistency and it's definitely giving good coverage. It's a bit of a glow, but it's not like, like wet or dewy or anything. It just looks like skin. I'm quite happy with that. It matches me really well. It doesn't look ashy or anything. I recently worked with Studio London and I got to try this concealer and I'm obsessed and I think it's so underrated. I might actually do a video on Studio London because their products literally wowed me. But yeah, I'm gonna use this concealer because I don't have any other concealer. This is their Front Flawless Concealer in the shade um, six. And I'm just gonna apply that all over under my eyes. It has a little bit of a salmon-y tint, which I really like. Just cancels out the darkness. Blend this all out. Just look at that coverage. I got the P. Louise Liquid Blush and Bronzer, so we're gonna try that today. And I think it's actually on offer on TikTok shop, so I'll link my TikTok below if you guys wanna shop these. So I got the Liquid Bronzer in the shade Gingerbread Glaze. Definitely not squeezing gently here. <laughs> okay, I think there's a lot in there now. Worried of the shade, but I think this is not bad. Okay, oh my God, I think I put a lot. Actually, no, that's all right. Oh my God, that blended, oh, that scared me for a bit. And it blended so nicely, look at that. It's kind of almost like diffused itself. Yeah, this, this is definitely something that looks scary at first. But oh my God, that blends like butter. I can even put a bit more. Actually, I kind of like tapping motions with this product. 
No, I really like that. I think the shade's really nice. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about this. I must be like super free-handed with it, which I like. This has really surprised me. Just look how easy that blends. I'm starting to come together now, which we like to see. See. Okay, I'm even ex more excited to try the blush now. I got the blush in the shade Lychee Lady. I didn't want to get something peach because I feel like I've got a million peach blushes. That's what she's looking like. She's definitely on the lighter side, but but I don't. I think it will work. No wonder, like I always see like people put so much of this product on on TikTok, and I'm just like, how on earth like, do they need all this product? But now I get it because you. You can literally, why is there so much hair on my face? You can literally get away with so much of this. Anything you kind of need more to get the pigment out. This is a little bit too light for me. It works actually, but it's like, meh. I'm not really stood out by it. I really like the bronzer though. I haven't tried this powder yet. It's the Studio London Flaunt Flawless Setting Powder. Okay, we're gonna try this out today. I mean, might as well because we're using the concealer. I don't know if I like that, honestly. I'm super picky when it comes to like powders. And I feel like it's not working well with like the cream products. I mean, it looks fine, but I, when I look up close, it's like a bit iffy. I'm liking the blush now. I kind of like the little pink tint. I'm just gonna put a little bit of P. Louise base on my lids. This is like the best base ever. Can we take a moment for this packaging? This is the Kaleidos, Kaleidos Quad Palette in Venus Trap. I kind of wanted to play around with cool colors today, so let's give this a go. I'm just gonna take this gray shade right here. I'm gonna take this pretty like lilac-y shade and I'm just gonna use that to blend out the edges. The gray was definitely more pigmented than I thought it was, but it's like very powdery. The darker shade here and just use tapping motions because I feel like it's gonna be fallout. No, I really like that so far. Then we're gonna take the glitter in here. Oh, this is this is nice for like Christmas. I'm really, really surprised by that sparkle. I just do the same thing on the other eye. I'm just taking some of those dark grays and putting it on the lower lash line. I don't know, I'm actually quite impressed by this palette. Like, uh, the sparkle is just like top notch. Then I'm gonna use some of this Lancome Idol liner. I've never tried this before. I don't really want a wing. Fortunately, this is not it for me. Like, it's just not dark enough. I don't know, it's just really hard to apply. So yeah, it's no for me on that. Then I'm gonna just curl my lashes. I know they're really well known for their mascara, so we're gonna try the Idol Lash Mascara by Lancome as well. This is what the brush looks like. The first thing that I don't like when I put mascaras on is when the brush doesn't like grip or apply as much product as, I, as I'd like it to. So like, it's just like going through air, like almost. Like I know my mascaras, like I know how I like them and this is just not giving. It's not giving, unfortunately. I mean, it's nice, but it's not like giving how I like, I usually like my lashes. What I can say though, is like it's giving a lot of length but I'm like a volume girl when I put my mascara. I, kind of, I would give it like a six out of 10 based on my first impressions right now. Like it's not like wowing me or anything, but I was always curious, like this gets like so much hype. Nah. <laughs> That's why we're here to test out these products. Okay, for lips, I recently got the Sleek Makeup Super Precise Lip Liner, and this one's in the shade Just Say Nothing. It's such a nice brown shade. This is the YSL Candy Glaze Lipstick. I've heard so many good things about this and it's in the shade free. Very dark and you know how I am with dark shades, but let's give it a go. Ah, oh, it's very dark. It, do you know what? I really love this consistency. It reminds me of the matte lip, um, what's it called? The glossy sticks that I bloody love. It reminds me of the Hourglass gloss sticks as well, glossy balms. 
So yeah, I really like the formula, but I need to get another shade. But yeah, super pigment pigmented. I didn't even put much on. It's giving auntie vibes and I'm not feeling it, but it's okay. So yeah, I would definitely look at some like pinky, peachy colors in this because the formula and the shine. Got one last thing. I haven't had the chance to try this yet. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C Setting Spray. It's just been laying on my desk and I haven't had the chance to try it yet. So let's spray my face. Since we are gonna wear this makeup for the rest of the day and just put it to the test really. Do you know what? I really like the eyes, like the eyeshadow, like that really shook me. The foundation, the bronzer really stood out. I'm not feeling the powder. I don't like my, the look of my under eyes at the moment, which is a shame because I love the foundation concealer. I'll do a separate video on it and I'll show you guys what I mean. But yeah, I'm not feeling the powder. But yeah, the blush is, yeah, it's nice, but like I wouldn't say it wowed me. But yeah, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? It's giving very dark and sultry but yeah let me know what you guys think i love the glitter on eyes it's currently just 11 a.m so i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and check in later with you guys to see how this all wears i haven't really looked at my face all day but i'm shook like my skin looks so good like it looks untouched and the only thing that's really really standing out to me right now is my under eyes like they look so bad and it's really like the powder like the powder just didn't work for me at all and i know i like the concealers and i know it's not that and it's weird that they come from the same brand but it's just not working for me and i know it's the powder yeah there's like extreme creasing under my eyes like there's nothing left on my lips but i really like this form and the eyes don't even get me started on the eyes flawless impeccable so I really do like that palette so yeah I would say out of everything the foundation blush contour eyeshadow and the lip really stood out to me I definitely want to get the YSL lippy in a different shade the foundation is really nice guys and it's settled down really well I like the setting spray as well but I just know like the Urban Decay setting sprays are really good anyways. And yeah, minimal smile lines. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah. Anyways, I had so much fun filming this video for you guys. Let me know if you guys did enjoy it. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.